in control of Moscow. In the outside uh, interferences, we do not see any FOD in the uh, docking assembly. GSO. Uh, depot uh, of a indicator is eliminated. And official undocking uh, time, uh, 12.06 and 30 seconds. Uh, Generally, those times are rounded down to uh, the nearest uh, minute, 12.06. According to uh, Mission Control Moscow, here we're seeing live uh, television footage. As uh, the Soyuz TMA-11 backs away uh, from its docking port, the Nader port of the Zarya module, you can see just to the left of the uh, intersection of the two uh, dotted lines here on your NASA television screen. These views coming uh, to us. Uh, После завершения транзита и выдачи команды РРП. And here we see uh, in this recorded footage the separation of the Soyuz from the International Space Station. Дано, но оно никак не регламентировано. РРП есть, можно в принципе уже калибровку выполнять. У нас индикаторный режим. Дусы будут сами собой раскручиваться. После выполнения калибровки получаете сообщение, что Калибровка БИЛУ завершена. Инструкцию. Инструкцию вы получите, если у вас будет набран режим 00 на ПРВИ. Если другой режим пока набран, инструкции не будет. Как только наберете 00, дойдите. As well as uh, space flight participant uh, So Yun Li, So Yun Yi, uh, Yi uh, launched to the station with the Expedition 17 crew on April 8. Well, the Expedition 16 crew members with her spent uh, a total of 190 days aboard the International Space Station. Another recorded view of the departure of the Soyuz TMA-11 with uh, Expedition 16 Commander Peggy Whitson and uh, Yuri Malinchenko, the Expedition 16 uh, Flight Engineer, the Soyuz Commander, along with uh, Soyuz Yi, the space flight participant on board. Unfortunately, the thruster is going to be activated um, almost still in during the uplift. So you won't be able to monitor that. You're going to only see one window after you emerge from uplift. Uh, you need to use um, the Capen in order to monitor attitude copy. ECV inhibit. If you didn't get the time, then you're going to get it later, about 15, one five minutes prior to the thruster activation. But uh, that'll be five or six minutes after the GSO appears. Copy. Then page 9-4. Prepare for thruster activation. A monitor um, the KD rotation. During the eclipse, monitor attitude using the ICATA 
As we continue to watch this recorded footage of the Soyuz TMA-11 departure from the International Space Station, the uh, spacecraft uh, at present has moved to a distance of about two and a half miles from the orbiting laboratory. A pressure at nozzles, a pressure in the tanks. You will also have information available because, uh, Jirachi, that will be at your work uh, location. You're, you will also have the information about the current value of the burn, what is calculated by PS0 to 0 and the acceleration. And it will also uh, be displaying the 115.2 burn magnitude that is uh, on, on the display. You need to first enter display 46 in order to monitor the... As we continue to watch the departure of uh, the Soyuz uh, TMA-11 spacecraft, uh, we have uh, on the phone Rob Navius, the public affairs officer, who's with the recovery team. Uh, he's, uh, Landed just a short time ago in Arkulik, uh, not far from the landing site of the Soyuz spacecraft. His report coming up momentarily. Copy. Do you understand everything? John Ira, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, the Ros Aeronavigatsi Search and Recovery Team has, in fact, uh, landed uh, with a dozen MI-8 helicopters here in Arkhalik, Kazakhstan. After a one-hour, 50-minute flight uh, from Kustanai, where we staged this morning and have spent the last couple of days uh, making preparations and receiving briefings, it is a cloudless day. Uh, very light winds, almost ideal conditions for the return of Peggy Whitson, Yuri Malenchenko, and So Yun Yi. Uh, the helicopters uh, will spend the next uh, hour and 45 minutes or so on the ground, and then about 20 minutes before landing, uh, 